Recently, a new website named config.app slash cookplay was released. This site aims to recreate the old in-game cookplay feature as accurately as possible. It is still in the early development stage, but it looks really promising. So I thought it would be nice to talk about it. First of all, what is quickplay? Before the Meet Your Match update in Team Fortress 2, there was a feature called Quick Play, which allowed you to jump into a game quickly. It was the go-to option for players who wanted to start playing immediately. You clicked a button and boom, you were in a match. It was simple, efficient, and incredibly user-friendly. This ease of access was one of the biggest advantages of Quick Play. You didn't have to worry about ranking, matchmaking other algorithms, or waiting times. It was just pure fun. Additionally, it had an option to join community servers, which kept those servers populated with new players. Now, let's talk about the Meet Your Match update. When Valve introduced this system, they aimed to bring a more competitive and balanced experience to TF2. It sounded great in theory, but in practice, it had its downsides. The matchmaking system often resulted in longer wait times, which was a stark contrast to quick play. This could be really frustrating, especially if you only had a short amount of time to play. Valve introduced Meet Your Match when Overwatch was becoming very popular. Valve was also experiencing significant success with esports games like CSGO and Dota 2, which led to their attempt to make TF2 also an esports game. However, TF3 is not a very competitive game for most people. Unfortunately, the Meet Your Match update broke a lot of things. Most importantly, Valve removed Cookplay and excluded community servers from matchmaking. They did this because many community servers had plugins that significantly altered the game, such as Roll the Dice or Free Cosmetics. Most people didn't mind these changes since joining a new server only took a few seconds. Or you could just use Cookplay to join Valve's official servers. Later, Valve had to revert many changes because the matchmaking was so bad. It has improved over time but never reached the level of Cookplay. Cookplay definitely had a more casual vibe compared to the current casual matchmaking. It was simpler and faster. This is why many people have been asking for Cookplay to return. At the very least, it would be extremely cool to quickly join community servers. Currently, you have to manually browse the server list, set filters, and hope to find a server that isn't full. As you can guess, this takes time. And for new players, this, this feels extremely outdated and unintuitive. Also, this is why many community servers rarely have any players. No one wants to sit in an empty server alone waiting for others to join. Without a cookplay to join a server, everyone goes to most popular servers. With a system like cookplay, it, a simple algorithm could gather up a group of players and put them on an empty community server, solving the biggest problem with community servers. They're just empty, doing nothing. I should also mention that Valve's official servers are infested with bots and cheaters because Valve doesn't moderate them. Meanwhile, most community servers have some sort of an anti-cheat plugin and active admins who quickly takes actions when needed. This makes community servers have better communities overall, which makes sense. With this website made by Master Comms, you can enjoy TF2 without worrying about which community server to join. Again, it's not perfect, but I have high hopes for this project. Currently, there is no way to set a ping limit or choose the exact game mode you want. However, with more time, I imagine such features will be added. Anyways, that's it for today. Leave a comment about what you think. Do you think Cookplay should return? As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.